清气吹残。三河市一个人口只有十一万嘅加拿大法语城市，蕴藏住鲜为人知嘅宝藏。真福费特力神父，一位搞尽脑汁要将耶稣基督嘅福音带俾人嘅方济会士，好有机会成为加拿大下一位圣人。其实佢系一个推销员，诶，天主透过佢咧可以召唤好多嘅人。I think that many people today think that the faith take off your happiness. Father Frederick shows that. Holy life brings us the biggest happiness because God brings this happiness to your heart. 一间本来寂寂无名嘅小圣堂，竟然成为每年有几十万人到访嘅朝圣地。The whole history of the, of the shrine Our Lady of the Cape is a testimony of the fact that when you have faith, hope, and when you pray, something can happen. 二零一七年系葡萄牙花地马圣母显现嘅一百周年纪念。吸引大批朝圣者到访，呢一年亦都系加拿大立国一百五十周年。参加过各式各样嘅庆祝活动之后，你会唔会考虑去到加拿大嘅国家圣母朝圣地，展开一趟洗涤心灵嘅旅程呢？位于三河市嘅海角圣母朝圣地系加拿大五个国家朝圣地之一，亦都系全北美洲继墨西哥、瓜达卢佩圣母朝圣地之后最大嘅圣母朝圣地。海角圣母朝圣地可以话系加拿大嘅花地马。喺呢度我哋见到咧就系好多渊源都系同圣母嘅特别系玫瑰经好好密切嘅关系。呢个地方开始开发，我哋讲紧十八世纪早期咧，当时嘅神父已经意识到咧，呢度系一个特别。誒為聖母特別係一個重念玫瑰經嘅地方。This place is a is a is a place of prayer dedicated to our Mother, Mother of Jesus. It's a place of peace, a place of prayer. Annually, we have about more than 400,000 pilgrims and tourists coming here, and people are very much interested to understand what happened here. 位于魁北克省嘅三河市起源自十七世纪，嗰阵时法国人嚟到北美洲圣罗伦斯河一带，喺一六零八年开拓咗魁北克市，之后就喺一六三四年开拓咗三河市，所以呢度系继魁北克市之后全加拿大最有历史嘅城市。海角圣母朝圣地贴近圣罗伦斯河北岸，除咗朝圣者之外。唔少人都中意嚟到呢度钓鱼，甚至露营，享受大自然嘅美景。呢度仍然屹立住一间有超过三百年历史嘅圣堂，圣堂里面嘅圣母像由一位教友喺一八五四年捐赠。呢、这、一个圣母像更加显过奇迹，吸引唔少朝圣者慕名而来。海角圣母朝圣地最特别嘅景点咧，就系呢一条玫瑰经桥啦。佢系为咗纪念喺一八七九年发生嘅一个玫瑰经奇迹而建成嘅。In the 19th century, the church、uh, was a parish. At first, it was a parish、uh, dedicated to Saint Madeleine, Saint Madeleine, and、uh, it was a French parish. And、uh, for some times, the parish was quite、um, empty. People were not coming to the church anymore. So there was a, the pastor, a, a great man called Father Luc Desilets, who was a great preacher. And he, he made the people come back to church, but the small church was too small, effectively. So they wanted to build a bigger one. 要起新嘅圣堂，教友需要等圣罗伦斯河结冰，然后先至可以将石头由河嘅对岸运过嚟。但系一八七九年嘅冬天非常温暖，圣罗伦斯河一直都冇结冰。当时嘅主任司铎德斯勒神父呼吁大家念玫瑰经，祈求圣母玛利亚嘅代祷。德斯勒神父更加向圣母许诺，如果新圣堂起得成嘅话，佢哋会保留原来嘅圣堂，奉献俾圣母。到咗三月中，奇迹终于都发生啦
it was on the 19th of March, there was some ice on the side of the river, which just fell off at the same time, and it, it just got stuck just here in front of the church. And it was kind of a bridge, and people were amazed. For them, it was a miracle. I, I would say that it's kind of a miracle, uh, almost similar to Moses going through the Red Sea, you can imagine. People were walking on that bridge, days and night. On night, they were putting torch on each side, with horses, sleigh, and big stones on it. Can you imagine? And they, they were crossing that bridge. 100 people did that. So, and we still have people around here saying to, saying to us, oh, my great-great-grandfather was on that bridge, you know? And it's a miracle that has a deep impact on the, on the uh, uh, area, on the people around here. This bridge has been in the past few days. 俾好多人同埋载住建筑材料嘅雪橇通过，喺信众眼中呢、这个绝对系个奇迹，亦系佢哋恒心祈祷嘅结果。但喺另一啲人眼中，一切只不过系巧合。And、for the unbelievers, they were laughing.、Ah, that's not a miracle. That's just coincidence.、Yeah, it's the same thing as in the Bible. Those who have eyes can see. Those who believe, they can they can understand. Those the others, they don't. So, so that, that's interesting. 随住新圣堂落成，德斯勒神父亦都遵守诺言，喺一八八八年嘅六月二十二日，佢将原来嘅石建圣堂奉献俾圣母。当日由费德力神父负责讲道，佢预言呢一座教堂唔单止会成为教区嘅朝圣地，仲会成为整个加拿大嘅圣母朝圣地。就喺同一晚，圣母再一次显奇迹。And what happened is, at the end of the day, he was praying for the Désilier with Father Frédéric Jansoun and another man, and they were、um, preparing for the, the evening. And the, 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 the three of them, they were praying in front of the of the statue, and they 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 say they,、uh, they have the same testimony, the three of them, that they saw the statue open her eyes. 佢哋意識到咧，當時嘅神父咧就係呢個係特別聖母話啊，冇錯，我哋就我哋想呢度成為特別係敬禮我同埋玫瑰經嘅地方。It was kind of a manifestation of Mary. Here, our mother has her eyes open to what we're living and praying, and、uh, she, she's listening. She's there. She's seeing what we were living through, and and she didn't say nothing, but the sign was there. 摆放喺石建圣堂嘅圣墓像，除咗显过奇迹之外，为加拿大人有更深一层嘅意义。一九零四年，三河市嘅主教代表当时嘅教宗庇护十世。为海角圣母进行加冕，喺后冠嘅底部咧，更加刻有加拿大唔同省份嘅徽章，象征海角圣母系所有加拿大人嘅主保。即我哋知道全世界好多唔同嘅地方都有、呃、特别嘅圣母嘅显现啊，或者特别嘅诶圣母嘅朝圣地。咁喺加拿大，我哋亦都有，就系、是、教宗咧就拣选咗呢一度。咁变咗俾我哋知道咧，诶、呃、圣母系诶亦都系我哋嘅母亲喺呢度好特别嘅一个地方。今日喺海角圣母朝圣地靠冰桥运送石头而建成嘅圣堂已经睇唔到啦，因为嗰座圣堂已经喺一九六二年被拆卸。取而代之嘅系呢一座喺一九六四年落成嘅大殿。现时嘅大殿楼高三十八米，能够容纳一千六百六十人。大殿嘅外形、顶部嘅设计以至建筑嘅手法，都独特咁反映呢个地方嘅历史文化。同埋呢度作为加拿大国家圣母朝圣地嘅地位。There's some ideas behind it. First, it has to be kind of a to remember the influence of the native people. So they thought about a igloo or a tent, big tent of reunion. Then it has to be a way to honor Mary. So at the top of it, kind of a crown. So here, the mother of Jesus is crowned Queen of Canada. And you're going to see a lot of、uh, symbols relating to that. The, father, the fact that Mother, Mother Mary here is crowned as Queen of Canada. 大殿嘅彩绘玻璃由一位嚟自荷兰嘅神父花咗九年，用传统嘅方法绘制。花德皮耶特别带摄制队去楼上近距离欣赏呢啲彩绘玻璃。You can see that the color. It's not just painted over it; it's inside the glass. Okay, just look at the at the, the faces of the angel. The the way there's some shade, black shade inside, the, and there's so much detail in everything, and each piece are unique. Okay, there's none which is equal to another one in the in the whole basilica. I think there's nine thousand pieces all around. Okay, 
and each each detail each piece is unique so it's it's an amazing work of art uh, work of art it's amazing one of the greatest thing and it's unknown it's it's a it's a treasure here that we have at the shrine 这里有一间小小的石建教堂到到发展成为每年吸引数十万朝圣者到访的地方费德力神父的功劳一点都不少因为他在这里的第一任朝圣统筹在这里服务了足足十四年这么久有深入认识海国圣母朝圣地就不能
Notice the M, the M means Mary, because he was consecrated to the Virgin since he was born. 喺唔同嘅相片同畫像裏面，費德力神父睇起嚟都好受約。嚟到博物館呢度，我哋終於明白點解佢咁瘦啦。And there is also the representation of what he ate. He normally ate one potato and one or two pieces of of bread per day as a sacrifice to God. You know, he he was constantly fasting. 博物館呢度有一系列用木雕成嘅模型，描述費德力神父嘅一生。喺一八三八年，费德力神父出生于法国北部一个法兰德斯瑞嘅天主教家庭，喺八兄弟姊妹之中排行最细。费德力喺九岁嘅时候丧父，虽然佢学业成绩优异，但系为咗帮补家计，佢唯有喺十七岁嘅时候停学，成为一位纺织品推销员。其实喺费特力神父身上咧，我都见到咧，有时天主就好好好用佢嘅方法去祝福佢，诶、呃，去诶用我哋嘅才华。佢年轻嘅时候咧，佢未做神父之前咧，其实佢系一个推销员。啊，咁佢嗰阵时你已经睇到佢一个好特别嘅才华，好成功嘅一个推销员。啊，咁天主就用佢呢一个咁嘅咁嘅能力咧，喺佢升咗神父之后咧，亦都喺呢一方面咧系彰显咗诶天主透过佢咧可以召唤好多嘅人。进铎之后，费德力神父曾经喺军人医院担任院牧，亦都协助成立修院。喺佢三十七岁嗰年，佢被派到圣地服务。去过以色列圣地朝圣嘅人都会对于重踏耶稣嘅苦路印象深刻。但系喺历史上有一段时间，基督徒系被禁止以苦路敬礼嘅方式嚟到怀念耶稣。基督徒而家可以喺圣地拜苦路，全靠费德力神父嘅功劳。In 1880, he negotiated with the Muslim Arabs to celebrate again the Station of the Cross on the streets of the street of old city of Jerusalem, which was banned since 1621. Was were not allowed for us to celebrate to to this this prayer in public. If we wanted to do it, we could only in the church inside the church. So he was writing the letters to the Muslims, and uh, he re he negotiated that we could, from 1880, once again to celebrate this uh, to to pray the Station of the Cross, and uh, we do until today. Until today, every Friday, Franciscan friars um, pray the Station of the Cross on the streets uh, uh, of the Jerusalem, old city of Jerusalem. And this is thanks of Father Frederick. 曾经有一段好长嘅时间，多个基督宗派为咗圣母大殿嘅管理问题引起纷争。而家各个宗派能够共同管理大殿，亦都系费德力神父努力嘅成果。佢同好多唔同嘅诶基督嘅诶基督徒嘅教派咧，可以签署咗一个 agreement。因为嗰阵时其实诶唔同嘅。誒，譬如東正教方面啊，或者誒 Armenian Church 啊，或者 Coptic Church 啊，佢哋有好多唔同嘅見解，令到好多用地啊，同埋點樣去舉行唔同嘅禮儀啊，誒變咗好多衝突啊。咁佢就喺佢係誒嗰陣時係好重要，係去草擬咗一個一個 agreement 嘅。咁到依家都仍然係誒根據緊佢當時嘅簽署嘅。為咗幫助聖地嘅聖堂籌募經費，費特力神父喺一八八一年第一次踏足加拿大。佢喺呢度深受爱戴，大家都希望佢可以再翻嚟。一八八八年，佢正式被派嚟三河市服务，佢之后嘅生命都喺加拿大度过。费德力神父同海国圣母朝圣地关系密切，连纪念佢嘅博物馆都设有石建圣堂同埋海国圣母像嘅模型。喺圣地服务，令到费德力神父更加认识耶稣同埋圣母。而喺一八八八年，亲眼见证过圣母睁眼奇迹之后。令到费特力神父对传播福音嘅心火燃烧得更加旺盛。喺博物馆嘅正中间系十八位方济会士嘅墓，墙上嘅话描绘费特力神父嚟到三河市之后嘅生活。This is when Father Frederick gave his books to the to the people, all right? Because Father Frederick wrote t h i books. You can see the the first edition of some of them on on that shelf over there. He normally went down on his knees to to write the the drafts. The most faithful, famous books he wrote,、uh, he spread here here in Canada before the council. 
the Bible was written only in Latin and the people usually they didn't know the, the Bible. So he decided to write the book, uh, the, the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this book was printed eight times, 42,000 copies. So, so he, has, he had also good ideas how to help people to believe. Fedelixan 透過他的工作是帶來了很多治病的奇蹟 Father Frederick got off the sleigh and told the boy, you go home, I'll stay here. Okay, it was winter time and as you can see on the painting, uh, it was uh, snowing and all this stuff, but the fact of the matter is that he was uh, looking at the Virgin. So he stepped on a piece of ice and he went from one, uh, from one shot to the other of the St. Lawrence River and nothing happened to him because he was in, in communication with the Virgin. So when, when I told you that he was consecrated to the Virgin, I mean it, there, there was a, a very important connection between the two of them. Yekau 2001年在加拿大立国150周年加拿大的主教 他們想變成一個新的法國他們來的不是單單是想佔領一個地方或者想擴展他們的土地很多他們起的城市他們建造的東西都是為了復傳我們來到見到很多這裡本身的加拿大人 in Quebec, we used to be a Catholic society. Everyone was going to Mass at some point. Nowadays, it's quite the opposite. So for me, the, the challenge is what Pope Francis called us to do, and before him, uh, uh, Holy Father Jean-Paul II, it was that we have to invest in new evangelization, which for me means that how can we uh, uh, make a testimony of our faith relevant and uh, understandable for people of our time. Uh 
，再將加拿大誒奉獻於聖母，奉獻於天主。誒特別係透過加拿大誒我哋嘅主保誒，我哋特別誒敬禮嘅呢個海角聖母嘅呢個地方誒去做呢樣嘢，俾我哋睇到我哋想重新祈求天主。一直以嚟誒由立國。由我哋開拓呢度，到到現在去保守住我哋嘅誒呢個價值觀，天主嘅誒俾我哋嘅祝福，佢佢嘅恩寵咧，想重新邀請佢，再新一次去灌注喺我哋嘅國家裏面，再新一次去清洗我哋，再新一次去教導我哋，去去睇到真理。Of, of the Quebecers, of the English-speaking Canadians, and the, and the pilgrims from all over the, the world coming here. For us, it's our responsibility to carry on that treasure of the past, but to carry it in a good way for the future as well. A young man, who has been married for a long time, has found that their marriage relationship is not stable. The problem is that they are not able to accept each other's time to understand each other. The marriage path is not easy to follow. The only husband who is supporting each other is able to walk this straight path. The path is not easy to follow. 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 睇完呢一集嘅爱常传，欢迎大家打我哋嘅热线电话，分享一下你嘅感受或者系故事。同时都请收听我哋逢星期六嘅电台节目《爱生命》，以及订阅 Podcast。要购买天主教书籍同信仰灵修礼物，请嚟到我哋位于 Markham 嘅生命恩泉资源及媒体中心参观选购。我哋下星期同样时间再见，天主保佑。